Okay, let me get let me get one of those. The vault's been getting abused, huh? Oh my goodness! Yeah, you've taken some lives here, but it's all worth it's it. It's all worth it. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Chris here, the Supercar Suspects. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm here with Dre. We are here in the vault right now, heading to San Francisco, California, where I'll be taking delivery of my very first supercar. So the guys here at Porsche Fremont thought it'd be funny to put an Audi in replacement of my Porsche, obviously, that I'm about to pick up right now. So, <laughs> oh, he got me, he got me, he got me, God. I had a feeling, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting over here. He's about to pull it out of the service department. I've never actually seen this car other than pictures, so I'm very, very excited. My hands are sweaty and stuff. I gotta do a bunch of paperwork still, but I'm gonna be waiting over here for the new car. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is so fucking nice. Oh my goodness. What is that? Love at first sight, that's what it is. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Okay guys, I know we're here at Porsche of Fremont, but uh, the new V10 I've just purchased is sitting right here behind me. The brand new 2011 Audi R8. Obviously, it's, it's not brand new, it's used, but it is a V10 platform. It is the same engine actually. It's a 5.2 V10 that Dre has in the Gallardo all-wheel drive. Come check this thing out. It is absolutely ridiculous. Don't mind me. I don't know what the fuck to say right now. I'm so speechless. After three years of working towards this, we have a supercar on the Supercar Suspects channel. Now we are running out of sunlight here. We got about an hour before the sun goes down. So we're gonna try to get home as quickly as possible. And I'm gonna show you guys this car in more detail tomorrow morning. You know we have to get a fresh cut for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now the next morning after the long 350 mile journey back from San Francisco to LA here. We've killed a few little uh, insects, rodents here. I, I don't know what's going on. I gotta wash the car. Don't look at that right now, but here is my brand new 2011 V10 R8. As you guys all know by now, I wanted a V10. My first choice was the Gallardo until I saw this bad boy for sale. Same exact engine, same exact transmission. I cannot say no to this. The offer was too good for me. I had to take it. It was basically the same thing, but there's much more I can do to this compared to the Gallardo. Behind this bad boy is a 5.2 liter V10. Absolute fucking monster. Holy shit. They forgot to give me the engine. They forgot the engine. <laughs> 13 miles per gallon. <laughs> I finally have a frunk, ladies and gentlemen. The front trunk, obviously it is a rear engine car. There is a decent amount of room in here. I could completely fit in here. Dude, you wouldn't be able I to can get in there too. You could easily fit in there. Should we? Should we test it out? Look how comfortable that is. <laughs> you can chill like that all day. Oh, they got a cup holder, bro. You can literally fucking sit here all day long. <laughs> so, you got a cup holder here, and I could charge my phone too. Oh my God, oh my dude, God, just dude. move in. You guys know me by now, I love my fucking carbon fiber. Tamir's not gonna be happy about all these carbon options on this car. The previous owner has basically put every single carbon option on this car that you could possibly do. It's got the full carbon fiber blade over here. I know a few of them come in like aluminum, and I think the material is, it's a full silver one. We got the carbon one. Now, how you guys can tell the difference between a V8 and a V10 R8 is uh, the V10's got one huge single pipe just like this, where the V8 has two exhausts coming out of each hole. Now, one of my favorite parts of this car here, all you gotta do, you put the key in, turn it one time, and then you pull this hidden latch over here, and it opens this bad boy up where, uh, it's safe to say I like, I like my carbon fiber. I bought this car not even knowing it came with all these carbon options, but yeah, the entire engine bay is carbon fiber. Tamir's not gonna be happy about this. I'm gonna hear an earful from him. Now with the press of a button, We got a little active aero wink, baby. This is by no means a cold start or anything, but we're gonna get you guys a stock exhaust sound clip right here. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I could use an exhaust. I know. The Evo is gone, so I don't really have a race car, a fast car, or anything. So uh, it would be a disgrace if I didn't put some uh, turbos on this bad boy. It is a 5.2 liter V10 that makes about 525 horsepower, which is uh, just a little bit more than the Corvette. And that's not going to cut it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to enjoy stock, unlike I did with the Evo. I full sent that car in the first fucking few months. So I'm going to enjoy this for a few months, go through a phase or two, wrap the car, make it look real nice, put the stray pipe on there, and then uh, afterwards, uh, the snails will be coming. I don't want to spoil everything we're going to do with the car, but uh, you guys know me. Carbon hood is coming. We got a new mesh grill on the way right now, actually. Carbon fiber lip. We have the facelift headlights that should be arriving very, very shortly. Hey, shut up. There are a bunch of body kits for this car. I do not want to cut into these fenders like I did with the Corvette. So they actually have a wide body kit for this car that replaces the fenders itself. It's about six inches wider on each side. Comes with a massive wing and it's full carbon fiber. So we could possibly be seeing that in the near future. But for stage one of the car, we want to keep it clean and simple. Straight pipe, looks good, sounds good. So we're going to go with a nice diffuser, carbon fiber wing. We have LED taillights that will be arriving shortly as well. We got tons of plans with the car, tons of content coming to the channel soon so if you guys haven't subscribed already make sure you guys do so right now as badly as I'd love to post an Instagram picture with this car captioning it brand new whip got no keys we do have keys for this car it's a 2011 I'm fucking sorry there's nothing I could do about it but uh regardless it does the job nice as I mentioned before this car has basically every carbon option you can get for it so it's got a carbon fiber door over here, carbon fiber blade over here. This entire area is basically carbon fiber. I do need a carbon fiber and Alcantara steering wheel, but one of my favorite features of the inside is an Alcantara roof, finally. There is a ton of hidden like storage compartments all over this car. There's one right over here, there's one here, there's one here, there's one over here. So plenty of room in this car to store stuff. The camera can't pick this up very well, but if you look in the rear view from my point of view, you can see the entire engine and all that carbon fiber right behind you and uh, it sounds okay huh eh, it's okay should we uh, show them what it what it sounds like Why not? what the fuck the AC 130 is back I love to daily drive all of my cars so we had to go with the automatic option on the car the gated manual is super clunky super rough to drive and LA traffic is uh, not your best friend here so the automatic was my number one option so as of right now the car revs up to about 8500 rpm right there I'm sure when they twin turbo the car it might race to about 9,9500 9, we'll find that when we get through that process but we got 220 on the dash the stock v10 r8 max speed is 196 miles an hour now I'm not gonna hit 200 miles an hour right now but we did 175 or so on the way back from San Francisco that is obviously I'm always talking kilometers an hour so 175 kilometers an hour would be about 90 miles an hour so we did a nice 90 mile per hour pull now without further ado I'm sure you guys all want to see this car in action so let's start this bad boy up and uh, go for a little uh, rip This is a stock exhaust sound clip from the inside of the car. The engine sounds absolutely beautiful. It does need an exhaust immediately. That should be the first mod we're doing to the car. We just passed a group of girls and a group of guys. The only people I looked at were the guys, by the way. <laughs> now there's two ways you can drive this car. Obviously the automatic, and then you can do the manual way, which is with the shifter itself over here, up and down, or with the paddle shifters, ideally, which is just what I like to drive it on. It makes it a little bit more fun. The car's not doing all the work for you, but uh, you get to click this button here. And the only way to shift this car, you guys already know me and Dre, the douche way to do it. You're not shifting correctly if your finger doesn't hit the roof like this. So every time. One more. Yeah! This button over here is the suspension button. You press this, it says sport mode on here. I'm sure it just stiffens up the suspension. I don't know what exactly it does. I'll let you guys know once I do some more research on it, but right next to that over here, traction off, we're gonna be using that quite a bit. And then we're gonna be actually using this one quite a bit as well. When the car breaks down, you press this. People know the car's broken down. My twin turbos blew on me. Tow truck's on the way, you press that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now home. And before we wrap up today's video, I just wanna let you guys know that none of this would be possible without every single one of you guys watching the videos, commenting, dropping likes, coming out to the car shows, grabbing merch. 
I want to thank you guys all. We started off four years ago with the Hyundai Veloster, moved our way up to the FRS, to the S2000, to the Evo, to the Corvette, and now we have our very first supercar on the Supercar Suspects channel. And for all the OG subscribers watching, thank you guys for sticking around. This is just the beginning, and the newer subscribers, welcome to the channel. We got plenty of new content coming to the channel in the next few months. Twin turbo kits, body kits, bunch of carbon fiber, tons of races lined up with this car. But before we wrap up today's video, I just want to let you guys know that the Utah show is now locked in April 3rd, Salt Lake City, Utah, Las Vegas, May 1st. So now that we have the venues locked in, we are back to dropping bangers. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We got a new merch drop next week, February 19th. So stay tuned for that drop. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.